if apps are crashing in your iPhone when you open the app then let us see what to do so the first thing that you will be doing is you will restart your iPhone many of the minor issues will be fixed after restarting it so once you restart the iPhone open the app to check if this will fix the issue or not now the next thing that you have to do is you have to check how much of storage is left in your device since every app requires at least some amount of space to run in your iPhone so make sure there is enough space left so for that one we will go to settings we will go to general we will go to iPhone storage and then we will see how much of space is left in our device for me I have 25.2 GB used out of 64 so I have enough space left for you if this space is very less then you have to delete unnecessary files applications from your iPhone to make some space now the other thing that you can do is you can update the app which is crashing so you have to go to app store for that one and then what you have to do is you have to search for the app let us say whatsapp so i will go here and i will search for whatsapp and if there is update available you will see here update instead of open button for me it's already updated so it's showing me open for you if there is an update pending for any application update it and check if this will fix the issue or not now the next thing that you can do is you can offload the app so that it will delete the cache files for the applications now in iPhone if you want to clear the cache files you have to go to settings you have to go to general you have to go to iPhone storage and then you have to select the app for which you want to clear the cache files for example if I want to clear the cache files for YouTube I will select it and then I will select this option offload app so what this will do is this will keep the documents and data for the application in your iPhone but this will remove the app from the iPhone so you need to again reinstall the application for example I will tap on this offload app offload so what this will do is it will remove YouTube from my iPhone but the documents and data will be available and what you need to do is you need to again reinstall the app now this will take few minutes so you need to wait until it is finished so once it is again reinstalled try to open the app and check if this will fix the issue or not now the last thing that we will do is we will reset all settings in our iPhone so we will go to settings here we will go to general we will go to transfer or reset iPhone select reset and you have to select this option reset all settings after that enter the passcode now what happens is this will reset all settings for the iPhone but no data or media will be deleted only the thing is if you have applied custom settings for applications then it will be gone and you have to reapply again so once you have reset the settings check if the app starts to work properly or not now if nothing fixes the issue then there might be a problem with the app at that moment so what you do is I will suggest you to try the app later on to check if the app will properly work or not thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free